He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Okay guys, today's practice problem is about Newman projection. So what I've done is I've drawn a molecule here and I've drawn three different conformations that occur as we rotate around this bond here. So if we're rotating this carbon-carbon sigma bond right there, we can get these three different conformations for this exact same molecule. So let's draw the three different Newman projections that result from these three conformations and then let's rank those conformations in terms of increasing stability. Okay, so I've drawn these Newman projections for you. So go ahead, uh, if, we're, if we're right here in the board and we're looking here, uh, for all of these, we're seeing the isopropyl group directly up. So there's those. And then we're seeing uh, this wedge methyl that's sticking out of the board. That is down and to our left. So there's that wedge methyl. And then the implied hydrogen on the dash bond, that is down and to the right. So the front carbon right here, notice that this portion of the molecule here looks exactly the same for all three. So the front carbon looks the same for all three Newman projections. But it is the back carbon, it is the rotation of this bond that is causing this to change. So let's see what's going on there. On the back carbon here, for this first one, we've got this methyl down directly in the plane of the board, so that's going to be straight down. We've got this ethyl group, that is up and to the left, because if I'm on this side, that is going to be on, on the left side of me, so that's right there. And then the implied hydrogen is going to be up and to the right. So there's that one. Uh, <clears throat> on this one here, this is going to be a little different, because here on this back carbon, we've got that uh, wedge methyl, that's down and to the left and then we have the ethyl straight up and the implied hydrogen down and to the right. And then for this last one, we've got the uh, dash methyl that's past the board. That's going to be up and to our right because it's on this side of the board. So that's over there. The implied hydrogen is up and to the left and then that ethyl group is straight down. So let's talk about the, the discrepancy in energy of these. So first of all, this one is eclipsed. These two have completely staggered interactions which have dihedral angles of 60 degrees. And so always all of the, all of the staggered conformations are going to be better than any of the eclipsed conformations because there's so much steric hindrance associated with an eclipsed conformation because those groups are right on top of each other. So this is certainly the least favorable and so it is the, uh, the, the least uh, favorable uh, uh, energetically speaking. So that's the least favorable but now let's compare these two staggered conformations and take a look at what's going on. Well, we all, not only do we want them to be staggered but we, we also want to minimize the gauche interactions because when we have two bulky alkyl groups the most favorable position for them to be in is anti to one another. That would be one on the top, one on the bottom, because that puts them as far away from each other as possible. That minimizes steric hindrance. But gauche is when it's staggered, but they are adjacent. So two positions, one on the front carbon, one on the back like that, with a 60 degree dihedral angle, those are said to be gauche to one another. So let's demarcate all the, uh, all the gauche interactions. There's one there, there's one there. There's one there. We're going to mark gauche interactions as alkyl groups that are gauche to one another. So this isopro uh, isopropyl and ethyl are gauche. This ethyl and this methyl are gauche and these two methyls are gauche. So that's three gauche interactions. Over here we've got an isopropyl and a methyl that are gauche and then we've got a methyl and an ethyl that are gauche. So that's only two gauche interactions. So certainly this one is going to be the next most stable but this one is going to be the most stable because not only is it staggered but it also has fewer gauche interactions than number two. So these are the correct Newman projections and the correct order of stability. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.